Hey everyone, today we will talk about Snagit, my preferred screen capture and video capture software that I use on MacBook Pro, but it is also available on Windows. Let me just point out the key features that differentiate Snagit from any native installed snipping tool that you have already on your computer. Let's roll it. So the amazing thing is that you have it running up there on Mac and then you have a shortcut that you can just apply. Whenever I press the shortcut, I quickly access screen capture tool and I can do this and it's already copied into my clipboard. However, if I want to edit this, I just need to open the preview editor and then I can edit it in here. I can point out something that I want to change using these tools. Like we have callouts like this where we can quickly write something down. Um, we have a magic wand that allows me to select this and delete things like this. And of course, we can also blur out stuff that we don't want to make visible. Let's just make this a bit more extreme. The great thing about this, all this is saved in a specific Snagit format. And with the new Snagit 2022, you have now access from your Windows machine and MacBook, and you can edit these. And maybe just change the text here on your Windows machine. Isn't that awesome? Next thing. So let's get back to the blog post here on the paperless movement. Let's say you want to capture the whole thing here. You would just go here and you have something called panoramic capture. I just go here, select this, and now it tells me to start and I start and I can scroll and now everything is captured. When I go now to the editor, you see it captured actually the whole website. I can cut it like this. I simply can drag and drop it in other tools. You know, I just open up the downloads folder and it's there. There we go. Or we save it as PDF file. So if we have a long picture like this, for example, we could simply save it as a PDF file. So we don't have big size files. So now we have a PDF file of this blog post and look at this quality, isn't it awesome? We also could capture the text in here and make OCR, this is also possible and snag it. So let's say I want to screen capture this and then use it in my videos again. I could simply um, click here and start recording and now I even could make picture in picture recordings where I can add my camera as well. I start recording and it's recording now the screen here and this is when I do something like snippets that I want to use in my videos without a big workaround and there we go we have the recording here. I could already do some pre-editing here which I already like. You can actually split the video which is not possible in many easy to use editors. Um, so I can cut out the things that I actually need. I could save this then as a GIF animation that I can add to my website. I can use this, uh, this capture the frame that I have right here, save it as a picture. But to me, more importantly, when I edit my videos and I'm in a video editing workflow, I just pick it down here and drag and drop it and it's in there. See? Isn't that awesome? This was the easiest workflow ever because it directly converted it into a video file that I can actually use here. If you're a Paperless Movement member, then simply go inside the community down here and you have an exclusive discount section that I'm just reworking for the fanciness, but they're all functional. And there we have Snagit and you get a 15% off. And I also share my videos that I already made about Snagit. Here's a much more in detail video. You can also check it out for free on YouTube. What's really new? in Snagit 2022. Well, it's not a lot, but very important stuff, which is this cloud synchronization that I can now synchronize my library with Google Drive, Dropbox, and so on. Bit of a downside is here that I actually need to download the applications for Dropbox or for G Drive to get it on here. I'm using G Drive, but I'm not using as a desktop version. For me, it's no issue as I'm on the Apple ecosystem right now. So I just save the library into the iCloud and then I have access from all my devices to this library anyway. But it's good to know that if you want to hook up your Windows machine with your MacBook and have access to the same library and you make a screenshot on your Mac but want to edit it and share it on your Windows machine, this is now certainly something that you can do even with iCloud when you installed iCloud on your Windows machine as well. So this is the big advantages. The other thing that I added is performance side when it comes to video capturing, like audio synchronization, that you have this picture in picture mode. These are really the updates there. That's about it. Do they really need to add a lot? No, I think it's awesome. You can for free share your videos 
on an online platform. So I could go now in here, share and then screencast.com and it will just upload it to my screencast if I'm logged in to my screencast account. And this will provide me a shareable link like you know it from Loom for example that other people can watch my videos. This is very good if you just have temporary videos that you want to share because the space there is filled up very quickly. If you want to build up actually a library, what I do, I maybe make Make some screen captures this way and then copy paste it into Loom or I record it with Loom directly. So as I showed you already, I have different purposes where I use this software. But it's my daily companion. Snagit is to me a must-have application that I use daily. Whenever I talk to somebody, whenever I want to explain something, it's there. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already so I can catch you up next time.